One of the handiest features of the iPhone is the ability to send text messages. When texting first came around, I thought it was the craziest thing in the world, you know, a real step backwards. I mean, why would you type out a message when you could just make a phone call? Well, eventually, I figured it out. Hi, my name is Rich. If you're new here, I make easy to follow videos on how to use your iPhone and iPad. We've really grown because of kind viewers like you. And if you think simple videos on how to use your iPhone and iPad might be helpful, please consider subscribing. And thanks to everyone who has. Texting is a simple way to communicate a short message that doesn't necessarily have to be responded to at the exact moment the text message is received. It's asynchronous. You know, that's the whole deal about texting. When the phone rings, you have to answer it or at least send it to voicemail. But if you receive a text message, you can read it immediately and then answer it when it's best for you to do so. But to be clear, it doesn't, in my opinion, replace phone calls, especially calls where you need to have a lengthy conversation. But if you just need a quick answer to a question from a friend or a family member, or you know, if you need to remind your spouse to buy something at the grocery store while they're at the grocery store, then you can't beat a text message. Today's video is part four in my 12-part series on iPhone basics. Links to the first three videos are in the description below. Check them out. You'll find them helpful. Okay, today the first thing we're going to do is dive into settings, and then after that I'll show you how to create your first text message using a phone number or contact in your contacts list, how to delete a text message, because, you know, sometimes you don't want to hang on to a text, and then how to recover a deleted text message in case you deleted one by accident, how to search and filter your text messages, another way to find stuff. And then lastly, how to pin a favorite person so that you can just tap on them and send a text message very quickly. You know, if you learn these few steps, you'll be up and running, I mean, you know, texting in no time. All right, let's get started. Okay, the first thing I want to dive into is settings. So if you go to your iPhone and you tap on settings, you'll sort of show up here and if you scroll down until you get to messages and tap on that I want to go over a few things with you here there's all kinds of settings in here and I'm not going to cover every one of them but I do want to go over a few um, the first is share name and photo so in your contacts you probably have a picture of yourself uh, and, of course, your name is in there. And when you send a text message, rather than just your phone number showing up on the receiving end, you can send your photo and name along with it. I turn that on for contacts only. There may be a scenario where I don't want someone to have my name and photo, and so I have it turned on for contacts only. So you might want to do that. Um, and here again, share contact photos that show photos of your contacts and messages. So I'll just show you what that looks like. If you go into messages, you can see there's a picture of me right there. If we go back to settings and we turn off show contact photos, and now we go back to messages, there's no picture. So I kind of like to have that on. Uh, kind of handy just to have a put a face with a text. You can send red receipts, which means when this is on, people are notified when you have read their message. This enables read receipts for all conversations. I don't turn that on because I don't want them to know when I read their text. I do turn on send as SMS. What that means is um, when iMessage is not available or you're texting somebody maybe on an Android phone or something like that, it will go through. Carrier rates may apply in those type of messages, um, and it won't go through iMessage, but I turn that on. Uh, message history, keep messages forever. Uh, you can keep them for 30 days, one year, or forever. I tap on forever, although I do delete them from time to time. And that's it for settings. You can work your way through those and check out the other stuff, but I just wanted to go over those few things. If you take care of those, then you'll be up and running for the most part. Okay, up next is the real deal. We're going to actually create a text message. If you tap on Messages, and you tap on the little square with a pencil in it, you will be taken to this screen where you can type in who you want to send your text message to. Now, if you have their contact information in contacts, then their name will show up here. So if I start typing my name, well, there we go. 
so I can send a message to myself. If, however, you don't have the person in contacts, but you do have their phone number, you can just type in their phone number. So you can type in like that, and then go ahead and put your cursor down in the text message, and you can type, hey, tap the little arrow, and then your message will be sent. I'll cancel that one out. Okay, so let's go back and actually create a text message. We'll tap on the little square with the pencil. We'll send it to me. Well, to my personal phone. Then you put your cursor down in the little box down here by just tapping in it. And then you can type out your message. Then, you, again, you just tap the little arrow to send it. Like that. And it's sent. And if you'll notice, underneath it, it says delivered. This is my personal phone right here. And you can see I've received a text. If I tap on it, and I can see that it's there, there's the text that we just sent. And it's just that simple. It's easy. And now you know how to send a text. All right, the next thing I want to show you how to do is how to delete a text message. Over time, you're going to have a whole bunch of messages that are here. And kind of trying to figure out or keep track of them, it can be difficult. Some people keep messages forever. My wife does. And even though I have turned on forever in the settings, like we talked about a moment ago, I tend to delete the text that I get that I don't want. So here's one um, right here. And to delete it, there's two ways to do that. You can tap the little circle with the three dots in it. And you can tap on Select Messages. And then you can come over here and select it. And then you can go down to the bottom and delete it. And if you have a whole bunch of messages, it's best to do it that way. You can actually just slide your finger down like that and get all the messages and then tap delete. That's one way. Another way, if you only have maybe one message that you want to delete, is you can just slide over like that and you can hit delete. And then it'll ask you, do you want to delete it? Do you want to delete it and report it as junk? Sometimes you get, you know, spam texts. So you can delete it or delete it and report it as junk. In this case, I'm just going to delete it because I know who it's from. And that's it. That's how you delete a text message. Okay, if you're anything like me, you just deleted the text message that you needed to keep. You just did it by accident. So how do you get that back? Well, if you go in here and you tap on filters up at your top. And by the way, if you go into settings, if you don't see filters, you can tap on Filter Unknown Senders. You can turn that on and off. If you turn that on, when you go into Settings, you're going to have filters up here in the top left. And if you tap on that, and then you go to Recently Deleted, now you can see the message that I deleted up here, and tap Recover. Now when I go back to all my messages, it's there, and I've recovered the deleted text message. But if you'll notice, if I delete it, and now I go over here to recently deleted, you get a message up at the top, and it says, conversations show the days remaining before deletion. After that time, messages will be permanently deleted. This may take up to 40 days. And over here, you're going to see how many days you have left before it's permanently deleted. So keep in mind, when you delete it, you, you've got to recover it within a certain time frame, typically 30 days, maybe up to 40 days. So just keep that in mind if you're trying to recover a deleted message. Okay, the next thing I want to talk to you about is just how to search and filter for messages. So if you go into the search bar, right at the top of your messages, you can search for a name and it should pop up. I don't have many text messages on my YouTube iPhone, but I do have a bunch on my personal iPhone. If I tap on messages here and I go to all messages, I can kind of scroll down and pull up the search bar. And if I type on Rich, you can see right here I've got messages from Rich Boland. I can tap on it and there's the message that we sent before. Likewise, another way to do it is you can actually go into your filters and you can tap on any of these categories. All your messages, known senders, unknown senders, unread messages. And unread messages are important because sometimes somebody will text you and you'll have a message that's just buried 
down in with a whole bunch of other texts and you didn't realize that you hadn't looked at it. So if you tap on unread messages, anything you haven't looked at will show up here. In this case, I've read everything that's come in, but you can also tap on unknown senders. These are people that I don't have in my contacts list, so you know it could be junk. And then known senders. These are everybody that I know that's in my contact list and they show up there. Or I can just tap on all messages, which is where I typically leave it. However, you can use those filters to find something that you're looking for. Not hard at all. And once you play around with it, you'll get the hang of it. Okay, the last thing I want to show you is how to pin a message. And this is really handy. Apple came out with this a few years ago. And you can pin up to nine of your favorite uh, folks. In this case, I've got Lindsay, my daughter, and if you just tap and hold on the name, you can tap pin, and now her face shows up here, and if I tap and hold my name and I click pin, now I show up. And now I don't have to type in their name or do anything to send them a text message. I can just tap on the person and then begin typing out and sending a text message. And you can pin up to nine of your favorite conversations. And by the way, the conversations can be among multiple people. If you take a look at my personal phone and I go into messages, you can see I've got my wife and daughter, but I also have my wife and daughter as a conversation. I've got my sisters there as well in another conversation and my sisters and my uh, father. So you can just simply tap, hold, and pin if you want to pin. It's that simple. Likewise, if you've pinned someone and you no longer want them to be pinned, you can just again tap and hold and tap unpin. And now their conversation goes down here. They're no longer pinned. You can delete it if you want or you can just leave it there. It's that simple. You know, none of these tips were complicated, but if you did struggle to follow along, just rewatch the video until you've got the hang of what I'm talking about. Okay, that's it for today. I hope you not only found this video helpful, but this series on iPhone basics helpful. As always, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.